Right, but the way I mean the way the Gap Mortar works, um like the advantage is the Gap Mortar is it's kind of time to death. It's killing power. So if mm-hmm. you're able to disrupt that at the start of the engagement, it gives you time to strafe around them and get a good angle that they can't fire back. I, I think it depends mostly on what pier- what these builds are for the Pyramidians. Let's check them out. First up for the Centurions, we have the RAS Napoli, a Pyra being piloted by Blue. Gat Caro on the front with a Banshee and Flare on the port side. Pretty classic Gat Caro build. They're also bringing the RAS Iberico, a Pyramidium being piloted by a Salt Pig. Gat Mortar up front with Carinade and Flare on the port side. And on the Cat Skyder's blue team, we have the Battering Ram, piloted by Finks. It is a Watcher Goldfish with a left side light Carinator, right side Whirlwind Gatling. Their ally, the Sky Slicer, piloted by Komoba. We have a Gat Artemis, Pyramidian, with the left side Artemis Flare Gun. They're hmm, looking for a trifecta, I think. Can't, you can get a trifecta on these guns. I'm almost, like, I'm certain of that. But I don't know how realistic that is. Gat Artemis has been making appearances in Sunday Community Skirmish every so often. Uh, it's had mixed results. Yeah, I mean, the issue with Pyramidian, uh, Pyramidian trifectas is it's, they're difficult to maintain. Um, the Pyra's pretty slow turning speed and the, the angle is very specific. And people can kind of strafe around you. You know, a ship like the Junker is known for its trifecta because it's just it turns so qu- quickly it can maintain the trifectas very easily pyramidian not so much um and also you have you know you have your whole man shooting and that leaves you pretty vulnerable as well and both of these piras have taken position up just south of the leviathan sky slicer and battering ram no they saw him spot down on the Iberico even looks like uh the game's actually paused we have a player unable to load in uh-oh. Oh, I'm seeing everyone here. Sunny's just having trouble. May have to restart the client. In the meantime, I'm going to thread the needle. Trifectas also are typically more effective for ranged builds because then you don't necessarily need someone repairing as much. In close range, you're presumably going to be taking a lot more damage so you can't necess- can't really afford to have someone on that third gun which is another issue with having a trifecta that involves a gatling gun yeah it's tricky it, it works for the brawlbula <laughs> well i mean the mo- mobula is a little different i mean all the <laughs> all the guns are facing forward it makes the trifecta a little easier Oh my gosh, look where the wind brought blue right around in front of this. That's really funny. Alright, looks like they're bringing in Jub Jub to sub. We got a Jub Jub sub. Sky Slicer and Battering Ram still... I, I wonder... I w- okay, obviously, I mean, it's paused. But I wonder if they're going to make a move. If they think they can get the Watcher to Sable in. It's it's tricky landing a Watcher when you're moving. I mean, you can say it's easy if you're close enough, but so many times I've seen Gunners completely go wide with a Watcher. Yeah, it certainly also depends on the angle. Like, if you're just charging straight forward, it's not that difficult. But if the goldfish is turning, if they take a sudden turn, that'll throw the shot off completely. Uh, Watcha gunning in particular, I mean, they're a lot of the heavy weapons are like this, or the darking weapons like the lumberjack and the Hades uh, require uh, relies on communication between the gunner and the pilot. The pilot needs to announce uh, what maneuvers they're going to be doing, so the gunner is able to compensate beforehand because it's not necessarily easy to sort of just do that reactively no you can't do it reactively because by the time you can react your shots are going wild right especially taking into account like the the turning speed of some of these guns now the watcher takes a good long while to turn especially if they're going to be looking for the gatling going at the same time it's going to be tough 
it doesn't take that long to bring up a Pyro Hall, especially when you're talking in terms of a Watcher reload time or the time it takes to turn. So the coordination has got to be excellent on the Battering Ram. The only time I've seen Watcher Fish really work is when there is unbelievable coordination between oh. the gunner and the pilot. One thing I've seen that's been pretty common recently is... Uh, Here we go. Typically, the Watcher Gunner will run to the carronade after the Watcher shot is fired. Ooh, good Watcher. Brings down a bunch of the guns and one of the turning engines. That's going to slow them down. They're rising up, burning hydrogen, trying to get out, but they lose their balloon. And now their armor is down as well. Gatling from the Battering Ram and Sky Slicer doing work with the Aberco coming in from the side. Did they bump something? Do you see that? They're Who? bumping something. What? Who is? What? The Aberico! It's nudging something. There was a hitbox up here. Holy... Okay, then. That was weird. Aberico gonna move in on the Sky Slicer. But they turn out to the side and the Sky Slicer is... A decent shot is going to peck away with the Artemis. In the meantime, Battering Ram and Napoli going up against one another. Napoli can't really fire back if the Battering Ram can't actually manage to break the armor and break the hole the same t like one after the other. I I have I have not encountered that wall before. Are, are you are you sure? I'm sure. Are you sure? Uh, Lydia, Lydia is in chat saying that's the invisible wall. It's been there for a while. Whoop. Weird. Sky Slicer able to pick up the kill. In the meantime, Battering Ram chasing the Napoli, unable to get the kill, but the Sky Slicer may be able to take care of that. Yeah, I mean, the Gatling plus the explosive power of the Watcha. Well, good uh, armor rebuild, but no engines. They're not going to be able to escape. Armor down. Not looking great. As soon as the armor drops, they'll go down. Flap. Hmm. Iberica actually opting for a close spawn here. I smell a meat grind. This is not a good plan. Gatling going out on the battering ram. But what can it really do? The Sky Slicer is going to be coming in here in just a moment with the Artemis. There goes the mortar. No problem. No problem at all. Yeah, maybe if they had perfect mortars there, I don't... Or I, I guess they maybe just assumed their ally would be staying alive a little longer than they did. Um, El Napoli take, taking another close spawn. Send them to the blender, ram. boys. We got a meat grind. Yeah, battering ram. Able to get a good watch on the Iberico. It's not going anywhere. It's got one turning engine. And that's it. Armor breaks. Watcha waits for the break. Almost gets the kill. No buff on it, so not quite an easy kill. Also, what kind of ammo are they running? Uh, they're running burst. Okay, they are running burst, but they still weren't able to get it. Napoli coming around behind the battering ram, however. Not able to get the kill. Just gonna well, they... chase him around. Yeah, they're just Gat Caro. Yeah, it's tough to get the kill without, without a ram. Or um... without a banshee arc. They have to keep chasing the battering ram, and so there's no banshee arc for them. They knock the Watcha out of the way. Do some damage to the balloon, but they're going to reveal themselves to the Watcher fairly soon. Armor drops. Where's the Banshee? Not giving arcs to the Banshee. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication. In the meantime, Sky Slicer getting the better of the Iberico. Gap Mortar slowly chipping away at these ships. It looks like Napoli is going to be able to take down the Battering Ram. That light carronade coming to effect. Sinking them into terrain. But now the Sky Slicer has the high ground, so... They might be just trading another kill back to blue. Team. Oh, Runs Sky past. Oh, I think the Sky Slicer wants to just push against the trade winds and go around here, but I don't think it got the right angle. Uh, it bounces, that's, that's, but it's gonna be okay. Enough. That was, it was close, but they got it. Yeah, I guess they were just they were concerned about the Ibericos respawn. Um, I think they they probably could have gotten the kill there, but you know, playing it safe. Especially when you have the have the um, kill league lead is definitely a smart thing to do. Yeah, they they're just like you know what they could spawn in. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with it. And we have a moment of silence. Not anymore. Napoli coming in. Centurions want to keep the pressure up. 
They need these kills. Watcha down. Mini Caro able to do quite a bit. In the meantime, Gap Mortar moving in on the Sky Slicer, but the armor doesn't go down fast enough. They bounce along to the side, and the mortars aren't going to be able to keep their arcs. Little bit of a mistake from the Iberico. And the pulley going to move in to try to make up for its allies' mistake. Battering Ram, not quite in this fight yet. Still waiting for a good Watcher Barrage, and it's going to come out too late. Iberico picks up the kill, disables the Napoli, but there's no follow-up. And it's going to have to get out of here. Yeah, I should be relatively safe. I mean, he's going to be able to move maneuver around <clears throat> around these ribs, and uh, Pure Minion's probably not going to follow. I imagine Iberico's going to probably peel off and go back. Eh, well, looks like they're actually going to continue to pursue them. I mean, Battering Ram is on uh, Red Spawn Zone side of the map, so... I thought that the spawns still were just everywhere. Uh, didn't they? I don't know. No, like, they didn't. Like, it's... People have been complaining about the spawns. Well, re regardless... Or is it Sky, Sky Slicer remember. did decide to spawn on, uh, on the other side of the map. Battering Ram still spotted. Centurions have done a really good job of keeping the spots down. Gatling going out on the Battering Ram. Carronade... What's the Carronade aiming for? Here, I want to see. They're aiming for the engines. Of course. That, that, I, I think that's a superior target. Superior target. But now they're just going for the balloon now that they're in the clouds. Yeah, engines are nice to take out with the Karo, but they can be difficult to hit. Uh, so sort of a risk, little bit of a risk-reward thing. Um, uh, Nap Napoli going in ahead of its ally. Here we go. A bear this is a really good staggered Pyramidian engagement. This is something that we used to see a lot more of when Double Pyramidian was more popular before the patch. And here comes the Mortar. Coming out remarkably slowly. But they still should be able to get the kill. They even get it with a nudge, for good measure. Three for three. Battering Ram, again. Gets a great position for a Huacha, but too little too late. It might even go down here between the double Gatling and the Mortar. It's backing up, but it might hit a rib. It turns, but that makes itself even easier to hit. It's gonna be close. If he bumps this rib, he's dead. If, if it stops his momentum. Okay, he keeps it. Is he able to get out? Armor drops, but I don't think... Yeah, the Iberico can't land these mortars. Whoosh. Official counter caster sound effects brought to you by 4th Oracle Industries. Battering Ram continuing to back up here. Desperately trying to get out. Iberico and Napoli, though... Mm, they're gonna get the ram. They stop the momentum. And the main engine is damaged, but they're burning kerosene. Gatling goes out. Carronade takes care of the main engine. And there's nowhere for the battering ram to go. Sky Slicer's coming in. This might be a meat grind. Gatling going out. Carronade. Loading into the Sky Slicer as well. If they can get the balloon pop, this thing is going to drop down to the ground hard. And it's already got momentum going low. Yeah, they do have to be... I mean, they are going to get their ally to respawn here in a moment. So maybe if they get a really fast watcher. Here comes the Mortar. No dice. Centurions pick up the one game that they need to win Sunday Community Skirmish number 41. And they are your champions. Congratulations to Centurions. Running double Pyrrha despite the nerfs. Able to make it work quite well. Watcherfish. Gonna need to see you another week, buddy.